Hello, hello, YouTube. Welcome. Today is a Friday, and it's Dr. Dion Napier with Amplify Vocal Studio. And I want to talk to you about how to fix vocal cracks, because I know that a lot of us are struggling with that. You know what I mean? Whether you're contemporary or if you are even classical singers that are trying to cross over in, into contemporary, those Vocal breaks and those bridges can be a little tricky to navigate. So I want to talk to you today about that. All right. What they are and give you one exercise that you can do to fix them. And also a few reasons why the voice breaks and the voice cracks happen. So welcome to you guys who are live and also those who will watch the replay. Thank you so much and welcome. All right. So let's talk about the difference between a voice crack and a voice flip. Okay. So. A crack, a voice crack. Let me demonstrate first. Or the land. Sorry, I played the wrong note. Or the land of the free. Right? Free. And then it flips over, right? So that crack, if you watch the video that I posted um the other day with Glenn Close, go watch it. It's it's called Raggedy Bridges. It's a perfect example of that voice. Free breaking right or cracking the reason that happens is because you're trying to pull too much weight up in the chest voice right and it gets to that bridge and it can't thin out and transition and so the core is essentially fly open and it's all this breath flying through them that's why we get that weak breathy falsetto kind of sound that's what a voice crack is okay or a vocal break now a vocal flip is slightly different a flip is when you abruptly flip or switch registration so it could be like a yodel right so a yodel an exercise i like to do by cheryl porter be that's a flip okay so i'm solid on the bottom and i'm also solid on the top but that transition is flipping the vocal cord edges are adjusting too quickly too abruptly and it gives that flip okay and you usually don't want that now we do use yodel for stylistic purposes those flips that's fine for style but you don't want that built into the foundation of your technique okay so the goal to erase the breaks and the flips is to learn how to let your vocal cords gradually thin out and this is kind of a nuanced skill it takes a lot of repetition it takes you getting with the coach so that they can listen and um, affirm that you're doing it correctly okay so i want to quickly talk about why these happen and give you exercise give you one exercise to help you with it so how to fix vocal cracks and flips the reason that it happens one reason is because the cords are too tightly squeezed and they can't thin out in the bridges that's what i just told you that's the main reason so when i say the bridges i'm talking about your vocal transition spots in classical we call them passaggi usually these pitches are between e f and f sharp so here or a b and b flat okay and in different octaves depending on whether you're male or female but those are the areas those are the transition spots that naturally occur in most voices so in those spots particularly you have to allow the vocal cords to thin out otherwise you will get cracks and flips okay another reason that you experience vocal cracks and flips is because you don't have refined core closure okay so as you're transitioning through the range the vocal cords are essentially Essentially too soft you need to get firmer more refined core closure and that helps those vocal qualities match as you transition okay I don't have time to demonstrate these I think I'm gonna come back and just take these one by one and talk more in depth about them and give you an exercise to help to help uh, resolve these issues okay but for now I'm just telling you the reasons why the vocal cracks and breaks and flips happen um, the third re another reason is because you're not letting the vocal cords thin out soon enough okay so you might might be letting them thin out but it's too it's, it's too late you can't wait until you get to your bridge note that pitch in your voice where you are flipping registers you cannot wait until you get to that pitch to thin out 
the thinning out process has to happen sooner. OK, so you have to learn how to feel that and navigate that. And then a final reason is because you haven't worked enough on balancing your mix. OK, you may be able to sing in a mixed voice, but you want to go for a balanced mix as your foundation for mixed voice. And that is where I talk a lot about the chiaro and the scuro idea that comes from classical. You want a mixed voice that has a blend of that whiny, bright, brassy quality, but also has some of the warmer, rounder qualities as well to blend it so that it is balanced, okay? And that takes time to build in. So here's an exercise that I'll give you to start erasing the breaks and the cracks. Let me get some water, y'all. I'm sorry. My throat is dry. Ah, tell me where y'all are watching from while I get some water. I would love to see who I'm talking to, who's with me live. I appreciate you being here. Just drop where you're from if you want in the chat while I get some water. I would love to know where y'all are call, uh, calling in from if you want to. If you don't want to, that's okay too. Okay. So, exercise I'm giving you. All right. So, you want to start by engaging head voice. We want to take the head voice down. Somebody's from Toronto. Welcome, Whitney. Thank you so much for joining me live. So, you want to take the head voice down. I, I like to do this because... A lot of times, especially when we're listening to contemporary music and stuff like that, it's a lot of chest voice dominant. And what we're hearing, we're trying to do. And we end up pulling that chest voice up and straining and reaching. So I like to go the opposite direction because usually when we're coming down, right, descending, you can't pull that weight up. So we want to strengthen the descending. Somebody's coming in here from Texas. LaVette, welcome, LaVette. Thank you for joining me. Okay, so you want to start in your head voice. Now, for ladies, I would say maybe start on a B5. Now, this may be a little higher for you or whatever. You just come in where it's comfortable. But I would say, ladies, you can start on a B5. Gentlemen, you can start up here, right here. That's what we're going to do. So here's the exercise. That's head voice. And then... So goo to ga is what we want to do. And I kind of did that out of, out of sequence. Let me try it again. So you want to do goo for the first two. And the second two is going to be ga. So the goo, goo, ga, ga. That's what you want to do. We're changing the vowel to ga because it neutralizes the larynx. And it picks up a little bit more of that chest voice quality, which is going to people are going to interpret it as a it's a mix it really is a mix okay but you're sliding down in there you're easing down into that mix without the abrupt cracks and flips okay so here we go so ladies here males can start here but i'm a lady so i'm gonna sing up here go, 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 go. come down same thing go, go, go. Keep coming down. Go, 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 go. coming down into that chest voice i'm not just plopping down in there listen to this this is plopping down in the chest voice this is what you don't want to do go, 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 go. you don't want to do that that's going to be an obvious register shift right so as we're learning to sing and as we're building our technique you want your transitions between registers to be seamless like, it's just one smooth sound with no audible breaks, unless you're doing some stylistic things, okay? So here we are again. Go, 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 go. Nice and smooth down. Go, 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 go. One more. Go, 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 go. Okay, that's how you practice that. So start there. And then go back to the top of the head voice. And you're going to change to go on the second pitch. So it's going to sound like this. Go, 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 
and go. You see that? So that's getting you into a mix sooner. Go, 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 go. Without cracking down. Go, 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 go. Down. Go, 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 go. Keep coming down. Go, 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 go. Keep coming down. Go, 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 go. Your chest voice there, but I'm not popping down, right? No, you ease down into it. Go. to erase those cracks and erase those flips, okay? Start in the head voice with the ooh vowel. That's going to keep you nice aligned. Goo, goo, goo. That's a head voice quality. And then slowly migrate that vowel to a more neutral uh, and make sure you're not abruptly flipping. It's vocal control, and it takes time. I'm not going to lie to you. It takes time. But if you put in the repetitions, you will get it, and those vocal cracks will uh, be eliminated. Those cracks and those flips, they'll start to smooth out, okay? So any questions, anything at all, was that clear? Is everybody good? I hope so. That's all I got for you today. Um, my Basics of Mix and Belt course is starting back January the 11th. This is my four-week live course. It is for classically trained singers as well as contemporary style singers. And it's to help you learn how to mix and belt with confidence and with competence and with clarity. Because if you're going to sing commercial style music, if you're already singing commercial style music, it is foundational that you know how to sing in your bridges. You got to know how to do that. And the way you sing in the bridges is through the mixed voice. You have to develop your mixed voice. So I offer a four-week course. It's live. You get me live and in living color. And it's four weeks. And we do a lecture about mixed voice. So you get some education and some understanding and clarity about what mixed voice is, how to activate it. You get exercises, all the things. And then week two is a master class where you bring in a song and we workshop it together in class. Week three, we go over foundations of belting and how to belt sustainably. We debunk lies about belting. We dig into belting. And then week four is another master class where you come in and you do some belting for me and we work on another song in a master class. And that's it. That's the four week course. And it's on a bi weekly rotation. So this course is for advanced level classical singers or working professional contemporary artists. Um, or if you're a worship leader, if you're in that kind of vein, it may be a fit for you, too. So if it sounds like something that you need or you know that you need, just DM me mix on Instagram. Or I'll put the links in my description here on YouTube and you can just apply for the course. It is an application process. You just click on the form, click on the link, fill out the form. And then once I get it, you'll get a response and we'll go from there and see if it's a fit for you. OK, so that is it. Whitney Johnson, worship leader interested. OK, that sounds good, Whitney. I'll put when I get off, I'll put the link in the description. And just click on it and submit a form and I'll look kind of look over your background and then um, we'll see. We'll see where to go from there. OK, but I hope this was helpful. I'm out here trying to help equip singers, honey, in this mixed voice because it can be a doozy. OK, and I don't want you all to have to go through <laughs> what I went through trying to figure it out on my own and put all the pieces together because the way that you hear yourself is not the way your audience hears. So you got to have ear. You know what I'm saying? You got all this stuff going on in the mind. Like, let me help you. If I'm not the coach you want to work with, let another coach help you. But don't just be here on YouTube trying to figure this stuff out with all these different video clips trying to piece it together. You are wasting your time. This is a nuanced kind of skill. 
and you will move fastest when you get with a professional that's got the ear for it, that knows how to do it, and that can walk with you to get to the goal that you want, okay? All right, so I'll be back next week. Y'all have a great weekend. Replay followers, when you watch this, leave your comments in the chat. Y'all can also let me know where y'all are from, too. Like, I come on here regularly, and I can't see y'all's faces, but I would love to start connecting. So just tell me where you are. Tell me what you're doing in music. I would love to get to know and put some put some names with some of these little bubbles I see on here. Okay, so y'all have a great weekend. I'll be back next week. Take care. Bye-bye.